We can do this. That's right. Let's go. We're gonna save our leader. No matter what it takes. Here he works. Look at them all party down there. They don't even know. <laughs> Guess that's fine. I wish he... he could be here with us. That said, we have our cellular phones, yes? Was there truly a need to meet? Our next move's important. We gotta get pumped! <clears throat> Besides, don't you think it's nice talking in person? New Year's Eve. It seems rowdier this year, doesn't it? We'll need to brace ourselves. I'm going to try contacting my father's associates. Yeah, sounds good to me. Sounds like we're set. We must succeed, no matter the cost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Huh? You're right.
<laughs> Magnificent. But you're confined in reality now, even after you escape the prison within your heart. What an ironic turn of events because you wished for the fortune of others over your own well-being. Still, it will do. You chose the correct path with your own volition. You did not compromise your beliefs for personal gain to the very end. The last arcana you have taken hold of is the world. It is the willpower to stand up in this world on your own feet, unswayed by no one. That will become the basis of hope toward a future with your teammates who share the same belief. Now that you've gained that power, you are no longer an existence that wanders alone. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Long time no see. I have two great pieces of news for you today. First, we finally managed to prosecute Masayo Shishido. He'll likely be found guilty. I'm grateful for your cooperation with the trial. Your testimony proved to be very useful. To be frank, it seemed almost hopeless at one point. But thanks to the civil protests, some of the more indecisive prosecutors came to our side. It will likely be some more time until the hearing begins, but this is the first step to true change. The only charges right now are for breaking election laws, breaking funding control laws, and bribery. I knew that proving the metaverse's existence would be difficult, but... I still find myself dissatisfied. Shido did admit to all of his crimes, though, including everything you know about. Now for the other piece of good news. As of today, you'll be free to go. That's right. Shido's confession brought light to the truth of your case. We were able to prove your innocence in the original assault charge that led to your arrest. Your sentence will no doubt be rescinded. You're a free man. The others did everything they could for you. Bringing in the woman who was the victim in your case as a witness was the turning point. And that wasn't all. An unbelievable amount of support has come in from various other places as well. To think they'd be able to track down someone involved in a case from well over a year ago. Regardless. The righteous phantom thieves are gone. All that remains is for us adults to lead society in the right direction. Then again, I have to wonder if you believe what I say. Thank you. Still, I'm glad I was able to save you in court. I've never felt so happy in my entire life. I'm not quite sure how to put it, but... Saving your future meant more to me than my own career. I feel like you even taught me how to live. <laughs> I 
That's not true. By the way, there's something that's been on my mind. What did the treasure of my world turn out to be? I suppose it doesn't matter now one way or the other. There is... one more thing. I haven't even told Makoto about this, but I realized something after meeting all of you. My most prized treasure is the justice I use to protect those important to me. Makoto helped show me that as well. Once the Shido case is settled, I'm thinking of quitting my job and becoming a defense lawyer. I wanted to reform the system, but I'll have to leave that to someone else. Going forward, I want to enact justice not for myself, but for the sake of others. <laughs> well then, I need to go submit the paperwork for your release. Oh, that reminds me. May I ask you one final thing? According to your testimony, you could have stopped after taking Kamoshida down, couldn't you? Why did you continue acting as the Phantom Thieves? Perhaps I'm thinking too much into this, but... A thief who justly stole the hearts of others, and a criminal who controlled them for his own gain. It seems your destiny has been tied to Shido's for some time, and now it's finally settled. Doesn't this seem a little too perfect? It's almost as though someone planned it all. that this was your goal from the very beginning? A coincidence, hmm? It's as though God was on your side. <laughs> if God even exists, that is. You know, this job has shown me my fair share of criminals and convicts. But if young people like you exist in this world, maybe things aren't as hopeless as they seem. I'm sorry for rambling. I shouldn't keep that man waiting for too long. Thank you again for everything you've done. See you later. Hey, you kept me waiting. Jeez. To be honest, I didn't really want to come. But Futaba just wouldn't stop bugging me. Anyway, you're a free man now, aren't you? <laughs> It'd look bad on me if you did something again under my watch. <laughs> All right, let's go home. It's cold, so get in quick. not moving at all. Due to the railway incident this morning, widespread delays have impacted the various lines and... Another accident, huh? <laughs> Reminds me of that day back in April. Remember when we went to introduce you at the school? It's almost been a whole year since then. Hmm. Thinking back, that was pretty awful to you. Throwing you in that storage room all by yourself. And again, soon you're gonna be. Made some great friends here. You better thank them when we get back, all right?
Namaste. Whoa! Uh, you did it. It has been a while. Not bad. You look fine. I'm glad you seem well. Come sit over here. I gotta head out and grab some groceries. I'm sure you guys have plenty to talk about. Man, it went well, yeah? I'm so glad we didn't give up. This was certainly worth the effort. We didn't know what to do once you were gone, but then we realized something. Even if we don't have the metaverse or any other special powers, we can still change reality. We were running around everywhere we could since the new year. It must have been over a month. Not just us. Everyone who believed in you joined us. Thanks to that, we've got our leader back. What are you talking about? You're the one who took the hit for us. They treated you fine, right? <laughs> Actually, did you lose some weight? It would be understandable. I've heard the food in prison is quite foul. So, what did you eat? Was it bugs? Fermented mackerel? Or maybe durian? You're missing the point. Eh, you're gonna get some good food soon enough, though. Boss is out getting stuff for our party right now. Come on, everyone's back together. It's time to celebrate! Everyone... Well, not quite everyone. Right. Morgana. He may have been the key person on this whole mission. We even considered what he would do when we were about to give up. Mona totally would have done something, right? That cat would never quit on you. He was always there to pull us forward. Morgana truly was the engine of the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> he was a car after all. <laughs> I want to see Mona again. Huh? That was quick, boss. Someone call for me? Mona? What are you doing here? I, I mean, didn't you disappear? Looks like the only me that disappeared was the one in the metaverse. Huh? So, you stayed in reality as a cat? When I woke up, I was out in Shibuya looking like this. That don't make any sense, though. I mean, if you were alive, you should have come back right away. I... It was right after I had said goodbye. It would have been awkward to come back so soon. It seems he finally learned how to be tactful. <gasps> He's grown. I knew you guys had found your witness, so I was just waiting for him to get discharged. Well done on that, seriously. You pulled it off even without my help. You've already returned to your normal, conceited self? I'm sorry I worried you all. Oh, can I borrow the shower before you all rush to hug me? I was stray for so long, I think I might smell. This ain't the time for a shower, you stupid cat! Give us our tears back! You are unforgivable. Talk about a harsh welcome. <laughs> this is how it should be. Matters are finally back to normal. Huh. Right. It's great that you're back and all, but what are you gonna do now? Huh? Well, we've been thinking. About what? How to become human, of course. Oh, really? I might have learned that I'm not a human now, but that doesn't mean I can't turn into one. Plus, I think there's a reason I survived like this. Regardless, I'm glad to see you're safe. Now, this is just a guess, but I think I'm still here because you all remained cognitive of me, even after the world's distortions disappeared. You kept me in your minds. <laughs> That means you guys think there's a place for me in the real world. Of course! This is where you belong, Mona! <laughs> She's correct. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry for butting in and all. But we heard from Boss. You're going back home next month? Can't you stay here? Sure, we proved you're not guilty, but people are still gonna label you there, aren't they? Ain't it just gonna be uncomfortable going back? What's the matter? We were all so excited a moment ago. How about this? If our leader is leaving, the Phantom Thieves are truly disbanding, correct? Today, we can celebrate his release and commemorate the day of our disbandment. <laughs> what kind of commemoration is that? I was serious when I said it. It sounds like a good idea to me. I guess you're right. We just gotta double our excitement for today. Ahem. I know this is sudden, but I've decided to go with him. He's pretty special after all. If I stay by him, I might be able to figure out how I can become human too. Plus, we need someone there in case he turns back into a delinquent. Leave it to me. Either way, I want you guys to add my farewell party to the one we're having tonight. I don't know. Is that important? You're not leaving for another month, right? It is far too early for a farewell party. That'll just muddy the purpose of this celebration. Then it could be my comeback party. Nobody can complain about that, right? I demand sushi! Sushi! Man, you guys are loud. I could hear you from outside. Oh, I was wondering why I heard meowing. The cat's back. Chief, they're so mean. <sighs> Noisy as always. Hey, I'm not some normal cat. I can't understand what you're saying to me, you know. Here. I'd rather have sushi than something like... Mm. Huh? This is delicious! <laughs> what an assertive little guy. I wonder where he got that from. If Morgana becomes human, he may end up just like him. Oh, I can see that. Totally possible. Me be like him? Well, that wouldn't be so bad. I definitely don't want to be like Ryuji, though. What was that? It's things like that. You get angry so fast. Oh, and you're vulgar. You little... Why don't you go disappear again? <sighs> Shut up! We're supposed to be celebrating, not fighting. They're at it again. The world's changed, but you guys are the same as ever. Seriously? That weirdo Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? In any case... We're all here. Let's kick this party off. <sighs> Very well. Sojiro, I want sushi! Yep. Right, today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young, ooh boy. <laughs> Hi there. Do you have a minute? Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, you should have just told me. Here, I'll leave this store to you. Enjoy yourselves. <sighs> Good evening. Thanks. It's been a while since we've had some alone time together. This is where you're supposed to say how happy you are. Oh yeah, this is for you. Isn't it heavy? I filled it with love. Could you at least react to my joke? Hey, um... You should have told me you were planning on turning yourself in. It's okay. I'm fine. Um... I don't want to go home today. Yeah. So, can I sit next to you? Hey. You're going home next month, aren't you? Does that mean this is gonna be a long-distance relationship? Really? Uh, enough of this! I came here to have fun with you! I already waited this long for you to get released, so I guess long distance is nothing. Even so, you kept me waiting way too long. I'll smack you if you say I'm too heavy. Hey, you're finally taking off tomorrow. Sojiro said you don't have to help out here today. Go and see your friends before you leave. Off you go, then. Try not to cry! Shouldn't you be saying your goodbyes? Even after we're dead and gone, we'll still be the Phantom Thieves, right? Even after we're dead and gone. Let's do it. Hey! 